Right, up there, over there is the palace. Schoon Palace. Different of I can just see it poking through that way. But apparently they don't mind if you if you walk around their course. Oh you know, they don't really mind. These are all jumps look. Made of like sticks. Yeah, you see a bit more of the mansion there actually coming through behind there. Right over there, look, there it is. And this is Perth race course. This is a quite a big race course. McBookie Com. But they didn't have any races on this weekend. This is Scotland, Perthshire. I'm just having an evening walk to help me dinner go down. Apparently you're allowed to walk around the track. It's probably a good mile, isn't it, round? There's more of the house over there, look. More of the palace. Schoon. Yeah, I had a really good day today. I spent six hours walk going around the house. Um, going around the gardens, the only naughty thing I did, I had a huge scone with cream, lots of cream. That was my biggest naughty, to be quite honest, and I know I'm going to pay for it because I'm, I haven't had any cream since Christmas, since the Irish coffees. But it is like a bit of a holiday, you know, even though it's family tree, it's what I class it as work, you know. I do class it as work. Because I do have to put quite a lot of effort into it all. But I enjoy it, it's a hobby as well. There's a nice little walk that leads to a river down there. If you had more time and you thought, oh, a walk down there might lead to another village or something. Yeah, I just thought I'd get a bit of the... The weather's supposed to be horrible tomorrow, but I do want to go to Dunkeld. Um, I wanted to go online tonight because I couldn't remember why I wanted to go there. But it is ringed on the uh, on the map, and uh, it is an important place, I believe, in history. I got a feeling several battles took place there, and I ju it just seemed a piece of significance. And it's it's got lots of um, things on it. You know. Um, Markings. Yeah, it's got. Uh, I've seen signs with the swords and things like that, so it's of historical relevance or historic relevance. I never really know. I know there's something you've got to be in English about saying historical or historic. So, uh, not that many people mind this day and age. Yeah, look at that. There's another good view of it over there. Coming into view now, look. It's beautiful. It's such a beautiful setting. It really is. Right, well I'm not going to video the just walking around this track. It's a bit of a visual diary, really, about what's happened today. I went to Tesco's and found it almost straight away. Just checked with two people just to make sure I was on. And I had remembered where it was. So that was good. I was able to top up mainly tinned food. 
um, and stuff that I need to live off while camping. Tins of stew and beans and peas and fruit. Um, plus bottled water, you know, carbonated I like. Packets of sweets, cereal, milk, the long life type that I get, but I do buy fresh as well. Some bread. I bought some more see through envelopes for work I'm doing. Um, some more CDs, DVDs, I should say. Um, and another nice little case thing for two quid to put them in to protect them more during the journey. So you don't get bent and buckled on that. And some more pens. Because it's, they're all looking a bit scruffy, but it's the content that's important. The content. It's all part of the thing. It's all part of the trip. Look at that. That lovely sun. It's nice and calm tonight, but you can see... A the storm is over there, but might not necessarily hit this area, apparently. Now we're away from the coast. We're inland a bit. Yeah, I want to do Dunkeld, so I really want another night here. Oh, I, that's another thing. I touched the stone. The chair. The destiny stone. The coronation stone. Um, there's a story about that stone that some, back in the 50s, I think, or 40s, some students from one of the Scottish universities stole the original one and hid it. And the one that was given back wasn't, though it was a pretty good replica, wasn't the actual one. That the, the actual one, nobody really quite knows what's happened to it. Um, but they're not sure. They are thinking the one they have got is the original because I don't know, they can do analysis of the stonework or something. Um, and the theory that the hill where the, the stone is seated was compiled by knights and lords carrying dirt in their shoes when they made their oath to the king and they would em empty the dirt out from their shoes and analysis of the soil does show that it does come from lots of places in Scotland and that's a, so what was sort of a type of myth could be true um, they had the, the soil from their own land um, brought and then they stood on it while they made their allegiance to the king. King David I is mentioned a bit. They mainly go for the big names though, like um, Macbeth. Um, who else is there? Oh, you know, all the, all the usual, the Bruces and that. I don't know if I can walk around that other side, you know. I might not be able to. Oh, look at that there. Yeah, I'm quite a way up in Scotland, you know. Not really that far from Dundee or Inverness. Yeah, I've come quite a way. I don't know where this bit goes. Here. I'm just going to follow around here. Walk right round. It's one way of getting a good view, isn't it? Right then, over and out for now. This is Sheila for um, 10th of May 2014. It's about half past seven, going on for eight at night. And it's a lovely evening again. Like it was yesterday, I got some beautiful pictures and I walked around the grounds of the palace. Over in